Hey, welcome back, everybody. Jeff Frick here with theCUBE. We're at Oracle Park and they're moving a bunch of dirt downstairs, but uh, we're happy to be here anyway. We're here at a really cool event called Sports Tech Tokyo World Demo Day, and we're excited to have our next guest. He's Javier Altamirano, the Director of Innovation for Sport Radar. Javier, nice to see you. Hi, nice to see you, Jeff. Thank Absolutely. you for having me. So, for people who aren't familiar with Sport Radar, what are you guys all about? Yeah, so we're all about, all about sports data and, da and, and fan engagement. So, whenever you, you want to place a, 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 a safe uh, uh, bet, let's say in a market that's betting is regulated, or mostly in Europe, for example, uh, you, you would use ultimately our data. Also, whenever you're looking for, for some, some uh, uh, stat line coming out or, or you want to power your fantasy uh, uh, game, that data ultimately comes from us. So we talked about, before we turn the cameras on, there's lots of sources of data, but your guys' unique value proposition is speed uh, and accuracy, is that right? Absolutely, absolutely. You want to think of, of sports data like the same as your ticker uh, from the stock market, right? You want to have it fast and reliable as possible. Uh, we've been doing that for almost two decades. Uh, we have expertise and experience in many different ways of collecting data from around the world. We're 2,000 people strong, 30 offices around the world, dedicated just to collect and, and, to, and, and to work with data and evolve and change the narrative of how people talk about uh, sports. Okay, and where are you guys based? Where's the headquarters? Uh, so we're headquarters in St. Gallen, Switzerland. And in the US, we have offices in, in San Francisco, in uh, Minneapolis, uh, 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 New York, and, and, uh, and, and Las Vegas as well. All right, cool. So we're here at Sports uh, Tech Tokyo, the World Demo Day. What are you doing here? What is this event all about for you? Absolutely, yeah, this is a, a, a great event. It's a great endeavor. Shout out to, to, to Michael Proman and, and Scrum Ventures, and, and they're putting together this ecosystem, right? They want to bring all the best technology, the best sports technology that's out there in the world, uh, it, you know, with Japan having all these events leading up to uh, the Olympics uh, next year, but also all the way till 2026. And what did they do, Jeff? They come up and they bring all of those large, great companies that they have, those conglomerates, and they make to make all of this uh, uh, um, big uh, opportunity for everyone who's doing something with sports technology in some way, shape, or form. And then there's a lot of collaboration, there's an investment, there's a lot of things happening there. We, we definitely, we certainly fit in, uh, especially with our Accelerator program. Okay, and then are you guys already in? Uh, the market in Japan, or is this just kind of a new boost into what, what you've already got going uh, this on? Is, this is definitely a new boost for us. Uh, okay. uh, uh, Asia is absolutely a, a, you know, a, a future focus of us, our present and, and, and future focus of us. Uh, there's great things uh, uh, happening there for sure. Okay, now you're director of innovation. So you're actually looking for kind of B2B opportunities to take your technology in some different directions. Get, tell us a little bit more about what you're working on. Absolutely. Um, I lead the Accelerate our program where we provide our data uh, to some early stage uh, companies who are doing something innovative with sports data. So that allows us to A, keep tabs on, on, on keep a pulse on innovation that's happening outside of our walls. Uh, so that's our external innovation uh, initiatives, but that allows early stage uh, uh, companies to get data and to use their funds into product or marketing or what have you, so that they can really develop and, and, and really you know, uh, uh, deliver something that which we think uh, they can. Right, and you said you have a couple of partner companies that are here today, correct? Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, we have uh, two companies who made it to the finalist 12. We're absolutely very, very proud of those. That's uh, uh, Edison and also Really. So, so the guys uh, Ashok at uh, Edison and, and, and Colin and Steam at uh, uh, Really, they're, they're great people, and I'm really uh, uh, really happy and and uh, and uh, and really proud to to see them here. Good. So, what are they doing with your data that's unique and different? Absolutely. So, um, what Edison uh, what Edison's doing with our data is our data allows them to better tag and better identify each player that's showing on on the screen. Uh, Edison's technology allows for a personalization that is unique. Uh, you and I can be watching the same game, let's say uh, we're watching a European soccer and you're a Ronaldo fan and I'm a Messi fan. So you would see targeted messaging and targeted information on Messi and I will see targeted information on Ronaldo even though we're both watching the same game. That's what uh, 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 their technology allows and our data propels them. Coming through the lower thirds and the graphics and how is that, how is that exactly. manifested? Exactly, so, so, it's a, so it's an overlay, so it's overlays, HTML overlays that they can, uh, uh, that they provide, so especially for OTT providers. Okay, Yeah. because obviously I need to have the app so they know it's me watching and not you for uh, for what they exactly. say. Exactly, and that, that allows for, for personalization. It's all about personalization and that's, that's definitely something we're uh, 
very interested in at, at Sport Radar. We believe that's the future personalization of the experience, watching and engaging with sports. It's interesting though, because so much of the sports is the communal effect, right? I mean, so much of so much of the greatness of sports is that you know two people from different sides of the city can come together and stand shoulder to shoulder and and, and root for their team. So I don't know. Is there some is there some downside to the, yeah, to the that's personalization because it kind of or does it does it support the community because now I, I hang out with a bunch of other Messier fans and you hang out with Ronaldo fans. I'm curious yeah. kind of where personalization fits with community yeah. in kind of engaging with sports. Yeah, absolutely. I, th I think the baseball park, uh, you know, puts you in the move to send out and a nice curveball uh, there. <laughs> but uh, definitely you maybe you have a lot of Messi fans uh, who you know, but they may not be watching the game with you. Right. So when you're watching at home, then you can have that experience and that can allow even for more communication with other people uh, who, who like the same things that you like. Right. But but really personalization is out there and, and it's everywhere, right? Like you, you're everything that you're getting, it's more and more targeted and, and we want to avoid, uh, you always want to avoid spam, right? So if anything, a message that is, if somebody wants to sell you a Ronaldo shirt while you're a big messy fan, you're probably not going to like seeing that ad. Right. So right. And, and either the advertiser will want to advertise you something that you will definitely not like. Like, so that's exactly it. Yeah. No, it's interesting. One of my favorite lines about big data, right, is when it's done well, it's magic. And when it's done poorly, it's creepy. So <laughs> definitely make sure you're trying to sell me the right jersey, not the wrong jersey. Absolutely. <laughs> no, most definitely. All right. Well, Javier, well, thanks for uh, for taking a few minutes. And um, good luck to your to your two uh, entrants into the finals. Uh, absolutely. Yeah. Thank you so much for the opportunity, Jeff. And yeah, looking forward to seeing the, the, the finals here. All right. He's Javier. I'm Jeff. You're watching The Cube. We are at Oracle Park. Uh, on the shores of McCovey Cove. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.